I think I'll know by the end of this year definitely what I want to do um, rather than waste a year doing a degree that doesn't necessarily interest me. For example, like I'm pretty sure I want to do a Bachelor of Law, but I don't know for certain. So I'm going to be doing a bit of part-time reception work for a few solicitors just so I can kind of get my toe in the legal world and work out if that's something that I do want to really fully get into. Yeah, my parents were always very big champions of taking a year off after high school so I'm listening to them <laughs> that's great well I love the idea of the gap year I did one myself and I think it will help you achieve all of those things that you just laid out there clarity well a little bit of clarity on what you want to do I don't think you have some epiphany moment on these trips necessarily while you're you know partying in EOS uh, it doesn't necessarily work like that but it does allow you to unwind as you say it, it's it's a grueling couple of years especially the last year in year 12 so it just helps to kind of decompress and have some fun and then come back and think about things fresh. And even if you don't have 100% clarity on what you want to do, like you're saying you have an inkling that you might want to try law or perhaps, you know, someone has planted that idea in your head and now you're kind of entertaining it. I think as long as you get the feeling that you want to at least try it, I think that's a good sign to, to do it. That's my advice. Um, I feel like you intuitively know what you really don't want to do. And I always say, just try and work out what you want to do by figuring out what you don't want to do, because that is a much easier path to achieve that kind of self-awareness. So there's probably a few fields where you're like, I don't want to do X. I don't want to do Y. Maybe it's like, I'm not going to be a doctor. I'm not going to be an engineer. And it's like, okay, you've already ruled out some big ones, which is, which is quite useful. Exactly. My thinking, I did like all humanities subjects um, for year 12. And so it's like, I have the ATAR um, to get into medicine if I wanted to, but I don't want to. I was like, no, there's a reason I didn't do science or maths um, in year 12. I know what I like. I know what I'm good at. So, yeah, it's definitely good to kind of be able to eliminate some choices because there's so many. <laughs> Absolutely. And it can be really overwhelming for students. And I think a lot of students freak out that they don't know what they want to do even a year or two into their studies. But I think the key thing is that it's absolutely okay to, to not be sure of what you're doing or, you know, what you might want to do later, because first of all, there might be many things that you end up doing. So it's not so much about figuring out a precise path that you're going to lock yourself into for life. Fortunately, we're in a position where, you know, a lot of people aren't uh, kind of destined for that one fate. Although of course there are professions like vocations, uh, doctors, and and often lawyers as well, but not so much lawyers, more doctors and some professions like that where you you kind of stick it out for your life, but you're never locked into one thing, right? So I think if you're not sure what you want to do, that's very natural and you'll probably chop and change a lot anyway. And it's a really fun time of your life, especially now that you're doing a gap year and you're going to work and then you're going to travel. That's super exciting. Mm -hmm.